Hi everyone, Gunnarola here, and today we're visiting Grand Central Market in Los Angeles, an historic landmark downtown where you'll find all the various cuisines and cultures of the city under one roof. It's a pretty popular spot during mealtime, but if you visit during off-peak hours, the wait times won't be any problem at all. So, uh, look who's there, look who's there, look who's there, look who's there, look who's there. Look who's Let's start at G&B Coffee, which serves up coffees, espresso drinks, and teas selected from the world's top roasters and farms, which you can enjoy in a bright, open space. They also feature a yeasted waffle. The batter has an active yeast in it which sits for about six hours. The result? The lightest, fluffiest waffle. Perfect for our first snack of the day. It's so soft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, very jam forward. <laughs> Jam <laughs> Our next spot needs little introduction for LA natives and foodies. It's Egg Slut. Every item on the menu features eggs prepared in some tried, tested, and innovative ways. We're trying the Fairfax sandwich, which has cage-free soft scrambled eggs and chives, cheddar cheese, caramelized onions, and sriracha mayo in a warm brioche bun made locally. This is our video thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, La Tostaderia. Seafood time. Here you'll find a menu of seafood-centric Mexican fare like tacos and tostadas. We're getting the sample platter, which features the fish taco, shrimp taco, octopus taco, gringos taco, fish ceviche, and shrimp ceviche. It's supposed to be for two people. Mm, I love it. It's kind of like burning. <laughs> Smoky. Right? Smoky. That's the word. <laughs> That it's like a bite size. I know, I wish there was more of it. <laughs> Are we supposed to like cleanse our palate somehow? Uh, I can suck on a lime. Actually, <laughs> should I? I love uh, going to markets like these because uh, you get to sample a lot of different things. Bar style seating, you get a great view of the kitchen. It's like a nice teaser when you're waiting for your food yeah. and you see it and you're like, yes, that's mine. Now let's check out Sarita's Pupuseria, serving handmade pupusas and other Salvadorian specialties. You might also recognize the location from a musical about Los Angeles. Are you ready for this? Because I've seen pupusas in my body as quivering. I've never had a pupusa. What is a pupusa? It's basically kind of tortillas and it's stuffed with Things. So it's like a, a pizza pocket, but not. But not. Okay. Yeah, pizza pocket, but like El Salvadorian. All right, baby's first pupusa. Uh, uh. So good. This is the place to go for authentic Salvadorian cuisine. Now let's check out Ramen Hood for a unique dish that's 100% vegan. You know the proper way to eat ramen? Slop, like really strong. Oh, so have to yeah. make sure that when we eat it, we slurp it really loudly. That's a good wrong. I didn't expect that to be. Is this a miso? No, it's sunflower seeds. You see, it, it tastes kind of like nutty. The back of <laughs> it tastes nutty. I was really skeptical that it's gonna be like not as deep of a flavor. I forgot it was vegan. Yeah, it doesn't feel like I'm eating a vegan ramen. Is that a real egg? Also, no, it's a it's a vegan egg. The egg whites are made out of soy milk and it's gelled with agar and the yolk is uh, natural yeast. <laughs> Yo, this is like the I can't believe it's not butter of eggs. Oh. The texture is different, it's like jello actually. Yeah, it's agar. Yeah. Our last stop of the day is Valerie Confections Bakery and Cafe, the perfect place to wrap up our culinary tour. Today we're trying the salted caramel bread pudding. It's fresh, warm, and incredibly flavorful. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you to the Grand Central Market. Head on over if you're downtown LA. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, share it with a foodie loving friend and subscribe to Gunnarola on YouTube for your weekly fix of music, food, travel, and good times made in the moment. À la prochaine.